Hello everyone, this is our review for Across the Spider-Verse. Spoiler alert, we thought it was good. Uh, yeah. Good movie. We're about to say that though in the actual review. No, this is like the trailer for the trailer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah fair yeah, enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, where it's like... Doo, 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 doo. In this review, they're going to say it's good. Doo, 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 doo. Review starts now. <laughs> Uh, but there will be some non-spoiler stuff and then there will be spoilers. That's uh, right. If, and there will be time codes below if you do want to check that out. Uh, leave a like on this video if you could. They're going to do non-spoilers, then spoilers. <laughs> Thanks for watching and listening and whatever. And this is our podcast. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's got its own YouTube channel and whatever. But So this is a part of that. We do it every Monday. The podcast. Yeah. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> Review starts now. <laughs> Okay, so Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, yes. On a budget of $100 million because, you know, animation's practically free, basically isn't it? Free. Yeah, it's practically free. You can do anything and it's free, which is great. Yeah, it's a similar cost to that of the Super Mario Brothers movie, actually. Mm. But the box office initial prediction for this was about an $80 million US opening weekend. Because the original didn't do that well. It, it did, did fine. It did well over time. The opening yeah. weekend, it got $35 million, yeah, right. which was, I mean, I, I saw it, you know, obviously part of I work. saw it too. <laughs> You did. Yeah. Well done. But then when the trailer came out, I was like, huh, this might be something. And clearly over the last five years, mm. which is the length of time it has been, mm. that this is just built on streaming. That's true. And word of mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people know this movie because now the official estimates are closer to 120 million. That's big. Probably potentially more. That's worldwide? Or- no, that's just US. Ooh. Which I think if it hits that, that's like the third highest animation opening Ever. Oh, my goodness. So behind, like, Toy Story 4 and one of the Frozens are incredible. Oh, there was know. some Toy Story news this week. I don't know. Well, not Toy Story news. I'm gonna, but... I'll work that into okay, this. Okay, right, right, right. I Dis- think... Disney news generally. Yeah, Pixar absolutely. News. Mm. So this is doing really well. Yeah. Which is good. I agree. Because what, it's a fa- good. what a fantastic movie. It's a good movie. My goodness. What do you think the story was? Ah, oh, all right. First of all, we're going to do non-spoilers. That's true. But I would say go into this blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Stab your own eyes out. That's right. <laughs> you'll, you'll well, afterwards, afterwards, watch it, and then once you've beheld the majesty, stab your own you eyes out. You won't need them anymore. You won't need them anymore because everything else will be a disappointment. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Anyway, what do you think the story was? Oh, okay, so Miles Morales. Remember, he was t- he was like, I'm, I am got Spider-Man powers. Yep. Remember last time? And he's like, I'm going to save the day. Mm-hmm. And now he's been doing a nice job. And I appreciate that. That he's a Spider-Man that people generally seem to like. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you hate how they packed all the misery, right, into yeah. a lot yeah, of those yeah, Spider-Man yeah. movies. Exactly. But this one, they're like, everybody loves the new Spider-Man. Yeah, he's for the pretty most good. part. But he's like, oh, what happened? To, remember Gwen Stacy? Remember her? Yep. She was all, she, she's another dimension. I wish Gwen Stacy were here. Then bingo, bango, she is. But why? Dimensional stuff. Spider-Man stuff. Spider-Man stuff as well. Absolutely. Mm. And Spider-Woman stuff. Mm. Mm. And it goes from there. And a dinosaur. And there's other things that <laughs> pop up Yeah, if you are so inclined. I liked how every character in this has moved forward. Like we get the return of others, obviously, which we'll mm. get to. But Miles now is kind of like he's more of a mean, surly teenager. He's about 15. Uh-huh. And there's also believable differences in like – his personality between this and the last movie, but also how he's evolved as Spider-Man mm. and also him in comparison to all the other spider people. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. he's, he's been working on his craft and he has his own specific type of spider Manning. That's true. And you see that at play multiple times during this movie, yeah, which yeah, I yeah. thought was really terrific. And you get like a lot of that from a lot of other characters. Like we get more of Gwen's backstory, mm. for example, and yeah, yeah. what happened to her Peter Parker and that's right. And all of that. And, Characters like Peter B. Parker return. These are all things mm. in the trailers I yeah, just yeah, want to yeah. specify. And he's not just like, oh, I'm the same as last time. Like he's moved. Yeah, yeah. Like certain other Spider-Man movies <laughs> that might have come out in the last few years where they're like, I haven't done anything for 10 years. <laughs> I just sat in my room. I just sat in my room and I'm, I'm sad. How's your relationship, Spider-Man? Don't well, have any. Well, you know, it goes how it goes. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> Get out of here. Do something. I did enjoy No Way Home. Yeah, same. This is know, a lot better. This is a better movie. <laughs> yeah. This is a better movie. Yeah. Honestly. In, in, it's a better movie in terms of, well, I, I think something people are going to, uh, you know, have been discussing and some have been critical of is, is fan service and cameos and et cetera, which I'm sure we'll talk about in spoilers. Yeah. But I think. You could take all that out and this would Yeah. I think the difference work. here is that a lot of the cameo like a lot of the cameos are absolutely blink and you'll miss them. Yeah. And then but the difference I think is in Spider Man No Way Home. If you watch that at home, mm. Spider Man No Way Home at home, yeah. you'll find that when, you know, the Andrew Garfield Spider Man shows up, there's just a noticeable amount of silence. Yeah. Because they're, they're like, Well, this is where people are gonna hoot and holler for like thirty seconds. So we'll just have nothing. And happen. they did. Yeah, they did. I mean they did, and I did at home. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but in this, they're just, it's just like, yeah, you know, blink and you'll miss it. Zip zap, here we zip, go. Zip zap. That and, was a dinosaur. Yeah. You'll never see it again. And there's also, I've also seen criticism about how certain characters are treated, but we'll talk about that in, sure. in spoilers. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll make a note of it. Absolutely. Put a, put a note in your in your. I'll put a pin in a note. Pilot. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, let me get the pen out. <laughs> what? I lost the pen. <laughs> what did surprise me also, and it shouldn't have. Okay. But I think off the back of like the Mario movie, which is pretty much the joy in that people seem to gleam from it. And there's nothing wrong with this because I think, and we talked about it as a kid's movie. Seeing the stuff. It's fine. It's just seeing the stuff. This is seeing the stuff if you want to see the stuff uh-huh. on top of just – there was multiple times during this when, like, they throw a twist or a character development or something that linked back to a previous thing in a previous movie or another dimension or whatever. And I'm just – I remember thinking, shit, they really – they thought about this. Yeah. Like, it genuinely caught me off guard a couple mm. of times because, you know, a lot of movies, they just – like, animated movies in particular, and I think there are obvious exceptions to this mm-hmm. – but just the, the the level of detail in this that clearly went into just mapping this out. Mm. And I see why this took five years, not only animation wise, because mm. it has it's leaps and bounds ahead of anything else that has probably yeah. ever been out. And even the first one, which is still yeah. an incredible looking movie. Mm. But and even this flip book I've made. <laughs> <laughs> That sucked. Yeah, I know. It's better than that. That, <laughs> that was the... never good. Aww. Not even for a second. <laughs> but yeah, it, it really surprised me. It, it feels like a new era in, in animation. Is anybody else going well, to step up Well, let's talk about layer? that. But who knows? Listen, and I think this is like a Disney problem across the board, mm-hmm. and that bleeds into a lot of, but not all of Marvel and Star Wars and uh-huh. Willow as well, probably, mm-hmm. which is now off Disney streaming if oh, you're yeah, interested. That's right. But they need to change. And I'm talking more, I guess, specifically about the animation and what happened with, you know, with Pixar this week. Because what basically Pixar are doing, it's a lot of just like it's a brand that you've seen before, mm-hmm. like a light year. Or it's like, I don't know, what if your feet had a face and it had emotions or whatever? Ah! <laughs> you know? That'd be messed up. It would be messed up. This year from Pixar, messed up. <laughs> your messed up feet. <laughs> they have faces and they argue. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. Yeah. And look. There are still good Pixar movies, mm, and obviously, like your messed up feet. I love that one, honestly. <laughs> it was really. Why fun. didn't you take the bins out? Because I'm a foot. We need to work together to take the bins out. Really got me, right? Spoke to me as a dad, yeah, as someone yeah. who has feet and takes bins, bins out. out yeah. yeah, I just love taking the bins out with you. I didn't want to admit it. <laughs> so. so this week they laid off 75 employees. A lot were also the people behind Lightyear. Yeah. Because Lightyear was supposed to be a franchise in itself. It's not great. We've talked about yep. it. <laughs> uh, and it bombed. And it's just kind of, they've kind of pushed it aside. Yeah. And, uh, it wasn't but, even as good as my flip book as far as I'm concerned. That's probably not true. But it's interesting because they fired also Galen uh, Sussman, who was the woman, if you recall this story, mm. when uh, in the late 90s, somebody accidentally deleted Toy Story 2 off the server. Yeah, they did it. They did, they they put in a special command line by accident that deleted it off everything somehow. Yeah. This woman that they fired had yeah. it on a home computer. No, that's true. But didn't they didn't they then go on to like... No, no, this is the one they released. Oh. They would have lost this movie. Oh. They, and, like, Toy Story 2 established Toy Story as a franchise. That's true. And also allowed them to, like, it gave them the money mm. to branch out into... Cars. Cars and various Planes. cars. And my feet take bins out and whatever. Ah! <laughs> All of these things. Yeah, yeah. And now when you look at, like, Elementals coming out, mm. and I haven't seen is it. Is it? Maybe it's already out. No, it, it might be on streaming. But also you look at something like Elemental, and yeah. you're like, I'll watch that at home. Mm. Like, I'll probably see it because... I'll, I'll need to kill an afternoon. I'll take my kids. Yeah. I wouldn't see that otherwise. I would see this. Yeah, right. Absolutely mm. in a heartbeat, which I did. Yeah. So you can't do that shit anymore. You need to move forward. Mm. You know, you, and th- that's what this is. Pixar is not setting any trends. Yeah. Serious, sad, interstellar Buzz Lightyear, where all these friends have died due to time dilation. Mm. That's not going to put butts on seats, unfortunately. Mm. Anyways, here's a question for you. Go on. How much multiverse can we be doing, and can it get better? Because we've got some really good stuff. Obviously, there was No Way Home. Mm-hmm, sure, sure. Uh, there was... Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness. There was the one that won all the Oscars, Everything Everywhere All oh, at yeah, Once. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's this. A mm-hmm. couple of weeks, we're getting The Flash. Yeah. The reason I think why this works isn't because it has the multiverse. No. But what do you think? Are we going to be getting multiverse forever? I, th- I think the, 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 the reason this works is that the idea of the multiverse gives us the opportunity to 
show so many diverse kind of different animation styles mm. and sort of integrate them pretty much seamlessly. Yeah. I, re- I reckon after this I'll be pretty much done with multiverse stuff. Well, you got to watch The Flash. Yeah, and I've got to watch Kang Dynasty or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, Unless they redo that entire, who knows. It, they might. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon if all that, if the Marvel multiverse stuff goes ahead, the MCU mm. multiverse, I think that my feeling would be that they'll cap it off there and, and, and wise people – involved in the production of this sort of stuff will go, okay, now we're going to go back to street level stuff. Yeah. We're going to go back to, you know. And, or and, something new. Or something new. But, yeah, but, you know, and I think maybe perhaps maybe the, one of the ways they could kick this off is if they do, uh, you know, they finish off this Miles Morales Spider-Man saga, mm. then he goes back to being just a regular Spider-Man guy and yep. doing Spider-Man stuff, maybe in the live action movie. And it's just him, you know, solving some street level crime and there's, there's a, per, you know, personal touch and, you know, he's helping out the little people of the community or whatever, and I think that would that would be good. You don't think they're just going to keep getting bigger and oh, like wider? a double multiverse? Yeah, double, wow, well, double multiverse. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a lot, isn't it? It's mm. a lot of multiverse. That's right. Anyways, just to get back to, I guess, this movie, mm. I love if we must, if we must. I loved all the variations on, like you mentioned, like the different animation styles. One of the first villains we see is this weird kind of Da Vinci esque drawing mm. that's kind of this. Parchment paper kind of yeah, creature he, situation. Yes, we well, we'll talk about it in spoilers. I think I noticed the sound design in this as well, like like the levels of detail, the way that everybody mm. moved sounded differently. Yeah. Like a lot of the times, uh-huh. and I know apparently also because the mix in this is just so like bizarre that it, apparently some cinemas are not like oh, interesting, doing this right. well. Apparently, okay, I didn't right. I didn't find that at all. No, I thought it was quite yeah. uh, uh, audible. <laughs> sure, and that's what you want. I think that's what you want. Exactly, Christopher Nolan. If you're listening, yeah, exactly. Well, I prefer it hard to hear. <laughs> Christopher Nolan. Yes, yes, yes. So Shamik Moore's great mm. as Miles Morales. I was going to say as well. Yeah, you're absolutely right. In, in terms of voice cast, mm. if the voice cast were bad, we would notice. If the animation was sort of era defining, and then it was like, look out, Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, look out. Look out. What is that? <laughs> look, <laughs> look out. <laughs> Yeah. So I think, you know, it's a yeah. credit to the voice cast, I think. I could rattle off some names. So, yeah, Shamik Moore, Haley Steinfeld, Oscar Isaac, Jake Johnson, Issa Rae is Jessica Drew, Karen Sony is uh, Indian Spider Man, Andy Samberg is Ben Riley. Love a Ben Riley inclusion in this. Mm-hmm. Really liked that. That's uh, one of the characters I want to talk about later. Cool, okay. absolutely. Uh, and Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya's Spider Punk, I think, was just my favorite character in this, uh-huh, I yeah, think. Right. Mm. You know what? It took me a minute to my brain to, like, recognize the but not mm. recognize like the british accent is he talks differently than everybody else in this so it's like he really felt from a different aside from like a lot of other ones like he's he's got a very kind of sex pistols x kind of vibe mm. and he's it's like a newspaper cutout kind of design yeah it's very the, that time. god save the queen yeah the, he, yeah everything he does looks like a sex pistols clash album yes. cover and apparently uh i learned this afterwards Different parts of his body are animated at different frame rates. Oh, okay, That's right. Why he yeah. looks so it's almost like you know when you put a picture together of a person from different newspaper yeah. clippings or mm. or whatever. He was actually he was my son's favorite character in this. He's like, I love that. I love Spider Punk. Look at nice. that. Love That's everything great. about that. Which was really cool. I also think the villain in this, like, so in the trailer you see like the spot, mm-hmm. and I wondered like, how is this going to escalate? Is that like a minor villain that he mm. like? I I thought that the way that that like the villain. And we'll talk about this more in spoilers. Like developed over the movie, I really, really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah I didn't think it was going to work. And then no, it did. And guess what, James? Your mate Avi Arad was the brains behind. <laughs> I this. completely agree. Yeah, he was the one who wrote and directed this movie. All right, <laughs> but he was the one apparently who said to the Lord and Miller, "Yeah, you should get, you should put the spot in." And they were like, "No, nah. really." And he was like, "No, nah, do it like this." Get out of no, here! No, that's for really? real. Yeah, yeah. Look, do it like this. No, no, I don't know what he said, but he said like you know, it's you know, multiverse and dimensions yeah. and blah blah blah. So. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Jason Schwartzman as well as mm. the spot. Yeah, I thought. Look, he's a complaint. He's a Uh-oh. complaint, Mason. This is more about the trailers. I think a lot of the stuff that you, I like, don't think this is true of the movie. A lot of stuff they show in the trailer of like. Spider-Man 2099 and the multiverse stuff or whatever that comes in like the back end of this movie, right? Uh huh. And so. There is a sense of like, oh, I really want to, for me at least, I want to get to that stuff. Uh-huh. And that's not to discount all the kind of the lower, right. the low-key stuff at the start. Mm-hmm. But I think maybe they should have held off kind of, there is also know, some, some of those yeah. things. There is also some stuff That's not stuff the problem I with think, the movie. That's a yeah. marketing thing. And I think marketing as well. I think there is some stuff that is in the trailer that's not in the movie at all. I think oh, really? There, okay. It's, there, I, I think in one of the trailers, 
we see Spider-Man 2099 and Miles Morales' Spider-Man sort of tumbling through universes and their animation style changes. Oh, as I they, remember that. You're and that's right. not in yeah. this. That's, but no, I mean, right. maybe that's just, that was like a, that's Concepts, like an effects reel, a concept thing, reel, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, might be right. you know, we did see a bunch of different universes, so. That's true. You know. Anyway, Lego also. That's <laughs> the Lego universe, yes. Yeah. It also wasn't like a slick Lego movie Lego universe no it was like this looks like a kid made it like i think universe. a kid did make it really i think it's that 14 year old oh kid my who, god i love who, that who did that um i just want to clarify that wasn't me insulting no <laughs> no, 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 no. I, that's what i liked about yeah, it yeah yeah but it was a, i believe it was that a kid went viral some some time ago he's a 14 year old and he did a little short lego film and they brought him in for this wow so, that's awesome yeah that's really really cool mm. Just fun stuff like yeah, yeah, that, yeah, Mason. Yeah. I mean, look, I would if I had one criticism, it would probably be if you if you strip out all the multiverse stuff, the 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 story itself is quite simple. But I think I guess you need that yeah, you in need order that to too. yeah, you know, if you, if, you, if you otherwise it's you know mm. a little much, absolutely. But you know, it's it's not it, story wise. It's pro- I would say story wise, it's probably not breaking any ground. But it's it's more mm. the the the. Um, Do you mean like the like the human to human kind of element of it, as opposed to like the narrative? Beats like the interconnected web of you, if you will, of the story. Yeah, I would say it's yeah. the you know the the human drama of it is is good. Yeah, but it's not. That's that's not what the groundbreaking is. The animation, obviously, this is sure, yeah, yeah. And I wonder, like, what would what would future you know movie studios take from this? I hope it's not bad multiverse stuff. Bad multiverse <laughs> stuff. But I hope it's not just. I mean, what what to draw from this is like a character like Spider Punk, where it's like, okay, here's what you can do with this yeah. character, and here's here's how you can show this character, and you know, maybe maybe you could make a world that is like, what you know, what what if what a, what about an animation that's set in the seventies in Britain, and it's kind yeah. of the clash. Maybe it's you know, it's about sixties, seventies rock and roll, or punk rock, yeah. or whatever. You could do it like this, and I think that would be interesting to do it in a way that's not DreamWorks esque. Mm-hmm. But I think what they people filmmakers might take away from it or studio executives is just throw everything different in the frame rates different frame rates <laughs> and just have everything exploding yeah, all the time because this with less style and substance and and like planning out would be a nightmare to watch yes absolutely yeah but the way we saw it every time there's an explosion i'm like what style is the explosion gonna yeah, be in you know is exactly. it gonna be kirby style explosion there's a little moment where he's jack kirby not kirby the sure the pink whatever man. His mum clicks her fingers and the little flag comes up. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like little stuff like that. It's just like just little things that you wouldn't even – there's so much stuff I absolutely did not mm. notice in this and movie. And the, the, the action sequences are really interesting and yeah. innovative. And like, I think you mentioned like Miles Morales has a very distinctive fighting style mm. and he's, he's – And there's it, also a, like I feel like a narrative reason for that mm. and why they're like a lot of them aren't a match for this guy. And we'll talk yeah, about right, that exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but, you know, in the sense – like when he's fighting – the spot, mm. and you know, the, the spot has all these sort of multi-dimensional holes through his body, and he yeah. can open up, you know, gateways and things like that. But when they're fighting on the streets, the spot is trying to defeat him, and and you see Miles sort of figuring out what he's doing on the fly, and yeah. like, you know, the the and the spot's not even quite sure what he's exactly, yeah. Doing. But I but I like you know it the the it wasn't just like them trading punches on the street. It was really kind yeah. of interesting, and just the way you see. Miles and Gwen navigate through the city. Yeah. It's really interesting. Really good. Really good. Uh, let's do some spoilers. Okay. I'm going to uh, say best, best movie, movie ever. ever. Yeah. I think the lesson from this should be, and I think there is a couple of movies that learnt it, like Puss in Boots, mm-hmm. where not everything just needs to be the same. I think sure. Puss in Boots is even like, and story-wise, that's a good movie and that, uh, that came out and it did not do well initially, mm-hmm. but it was good and interesting and fun, well-written right. and it looked great. Mm. And so it eventually ended up doing really, really well. Yeah, right. And I think – that movie learnt the lesson from the previous Spider Verse mm. movie, and I'm hoping more movies, yeah, right, kind of adopt that. And you know, know what we say Hollywood never takes the wrong lesson from a good ever, movie. Ever, 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 never, ever, ever, ever. That's right. First spoiler. Yep. Uh, Spider Punk's real name is Hobie Brown. Mm. That's the name of the original Prowler in the comic books. Really? I don't know why that's. I don't know why that connection. I don't. I don't uh, know if that's going to be relevant later, but probably not. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe it's just a reference. Maybe, well, yeah, we can talk about all that Prowler stuff. I just want to mention, and I forgot this till like got to the end, like towards the end. I'm like, oh, this is going to wrap up soon. I'd oh, forgotten yes. that this was a two parter. This is an Empire Strikes Back situation. Yeah. Yes. But compared to like say a movie we saw recently, Fast X, which just stopped, Fast X. <laughs> 
Like this really felt like, oh man, I would love, I would just keep watching this. Right, absolutely. You know what's funny though as well? What is funny? I saw this with my son. Yes. I didn't tell him that it was two-parter. Oh, it was yeah. a two-parter. Right. He was fucking furious. <laughs> Your son. Yeah. Furious. A tiny little angry ball of rage. Your son. <laughs> so mad. Don't bite, I don't believe it. He was like, what? He's like, when's the next one? And I'm like, I don't know. I'll yeah. Google it. I have no idea. It's March. Right. If, uh, if mm. you are interested. Mm. So, but just the idea that I guess the last time this happened on something, you know, that I enjoyed a lot is would have been Infinity War, I guess. Mm. And he didn't see Infinity War. Like he hasn't seen Infinity That's War because yeah. that was four years ago, whatever it was. But, mm. but yeah, like. I really thought that, you know, that cliffhanger was well earned and just having all those characters like reappear at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a bunch of them from the previous movie, or two in particular, we don't see, mm. um, who come back, which is Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham. Is he, he's in that last? Yeah. Oh, he is? Okay, from, great. I mean, maybe. <laughs> and the anime Spider-Woman. Well, the, she's in, in it earlier. That's true, but yeah. But yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I thought that was, that was really cool. So I guess uh, in terms of work, like going through some of the spoilers for this, how do you want to tackle this? Boy, that's a great question. How about this? Yes. So the spider that he was bitten by yes. is a spider from Universe 42, uh-huh. which is a different Sony dimension. Right. Where that was supposed to bite somebody else and that person was a Peter, a Peter Parker. A Peter Parker. Uh-huh. But some, because of the Hadron Collider shit, yes. it came over. But and the Kingpin started. The Kingpin started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we see it. Even in that movie, we see it glitching because it's yeah, clearly yeah. not right. So it bit him. Mm-hmm. So he became Spider-Man in a universe where he was never supposed to be Spider-Man. Yes. And if he hadn't become Spider-Man, Peter Parker would have survived. Peter Parker would have stopped the Hadron Collider. None of this shit would have yeah, right. would have happened. Mm-hmm. And so he ends up trapped in another di- in the dimension where that spider's from because it altered his DNA and he mm-hmm. gets sent back to. That's this right. sounds like nonsense. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Movie. So he gets. I thought I love that twist. So he was sent to the dimension where there is no Spider Man. That's right. Because that spider never bit anybody. Yeah. So he, the, is there a Peter Parker? Well, that that's a great question. And are they going to team yeah. up? Yeah. I, I wonder if the next one might have him teaming up with a non-powered Peter Parker. Yeah. Or maybe a Peter Parker is using his – maybe he's built a – maybe he's built a – Maybe, I yeah. Know. I mean, because we know – because we see Gwen's Peter Parker and he was – Jack um, Quaid. Uh, Jack Quaid, that's right. Yeah. He wasn't powered, so he, he becomes the lizard. Mm. And we see – like a glimpse of that in the previous movie, we don't know. It just seems like the lizard killed Peter yeah. Parker, but that's not what Also, I know. You, you, did you see the trailer for season two of Strange New Worlds? Star Trek? No. Didn't you? Oh, is it, I've seen the images of Jack Oh, yeah, yeah, they're in, yeah. They're in the Oh, trailer. they're in? Okay, yeah, I should yeah. watch the trailer. Yeah, it's fun. Now? So watch it now? Uh, yeah, watch it now. No, I'll do this okay, thing do that this we're thing. doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I love the idea. So the person who's running all of this, which is Spider-Man 2099, mm. he – Resents Miles Morales. Well, a Spider Man 2099. Well, that's true. It might not be. That's what I want to. That's what I want to get to in a minute. But I'll hold on. That's I've true because he's doing some multiverse mm. shenanigans. Isn't yeah, yeah, he? yeah, yeah. Is that well? He, from his perspective, there wasn't supposed to be a Miles Morales Spider Man. That's true. That was an accident. Oh yeah. So the plot for people. For yeah. The, the old, so that the. So, I mean, they're all accidents. Yeah. But he's like a really big interdimensional accident, apparently. Yeah. So the the Spider Man team, this interdimensional team yeah. of hundreds of Spider Men. Part of their mission is to make sure that canon events happen. So yeah. in the life of every spider person, uh, they gain their powers and then there is some sort of tragedy. tragedy it befall. And that teaches them the Spider-Man lesson of with, with great power comes great responsibility and then they become a great spider person. But, uh, but If you don't, your universe will collapse. Maybe. Yeah, appar- apparently that, maybe. That, that's, that's the case. Yeah, so and the, pre- the presence of Miles... He hasn't had anything tragic happen to him. So he's an anomaly. I mean, his uncle did. Well, that's true. Yeah. Um. But but and he he is of the of the of the uh, impression that well, we should stop those tragic things from happening. Yeah. Spider Man twenty ninety nine is like These well, they they must though. happen, and so they take a little journey to the it's Manhattan crossed with Mumbai, so it's Mumbatan. Love that. And they meet yeah. Spider Man. They, they meet the Spider Man of India, and there is a a, a big He's got disaster. Great hair. He's got incredible hair. <laughs> That that's a complete redesign. So there's a Spider-Man in here in the comic books. Oh, really? If you look okay. it up real quick, okay, well, yeah. it's not good. I apologize <laughs> Is it to just whoever. like the flag or whatever. No, you'll you'll see. Yeah. But they've done a, they've done a complete redesign for the movie and it looks incredible. Yeah, you're you're doing a look. It's the pants. Yeah, it's what it is, it's just Spider-Man up top, regular yeah. Spider-Man and then like poofy pants at the bottom and like a sash. That's it's terrible. not very no, good. That's there's no thought in this. No, there's no thought yeah. of it, but but the new version is incredible. But anyway, so uh, so the Spider-Man of India, his um, his tragedy is occurring, 
Yes, and and but Miles prevents it happening. His the love of his life is going to be killed in a in a bridge collapse, and he say he helps save her. What's that? No, it's the lo- it's the yeah. Save his love, his life, or save Captain. A captain, his Stacey. captain Stacy, yeah. yes, who's not called Captain Stacy. That's right. Yeah. So, but but and and they they manage, they all team up and they save everybody. So yeah. nobody dies, and this Spider Man has no longer had a tragic mm. event to make him quote unquote a better Spider Man. Yeah, and that is destroying his starts destroying his universe. A big black hole opens, mm. and uh, and yeah, and then Spider Man twenty nine nine is like, well, we can't have any of that. But you're so saying you're, that- so in a couple of days, you're. Father is going to die because he's going he's to become the police captain. Yeah, and so you have you have to let that happen. And, and Miles is like, I, I shan't be doing I shan't that. Shan't and I won't be. Mm, that's right. Do you think he'll? It's going to. end. So you have a theory that that's not the Spider Man twenty ninety nine, and this is just an angry guy who wants to collapse all the universe. No, or I something? think he is. I think he is Spider Man twenty ninety nine. But there, I saw some 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 th- people on people on Twitter were upset about the some of the uh, behavior of some of these characters because there's a lot of there's a lot of characters. That have that have come from animation and yeah. the comic books and the video games. We, we can s- talk about. We some. see the spider. We see the Spider Man from Insomniac, the Insomniac yeah. Spider Man universe. Uh, he's in there. We see Josh Keaton's the spectacular Spider Man. Yes, all that little Spider Man. And uh, my note is on, is on Ben Riley. So Ben yeah. Riley has been played by Andy Samberg, yeah. and he's he he's in the animation style of the comic books from the nineties. Mm. He's got that like partic- the image esque. Yes, that kinda. the the very. Very sharply defined muscles and the and the shine. Todd to him. McFarlane, very Todd like. McFarlane style, and he's like he he speaks like he speaks like characters used to think back in the day. Yeah. So it'd be like I'm gonna go in the alley to see what's happening. Yeah. Now I'm in the alley. Yeah. I'm looking around. I <laughs> yeah. hear like that sort of stuff. And a lot of people have said of these characters, well, they wouldn't be they wouldn't be on board with this plan. Mm. Like all the, the and uh, you know I I get that because all the characters you know a lot of people grew up watching the spectacular Spider Man and they love that character. Well, and a lot the of these are like just... somebody's favorite Spider Man. Exactly, yeah. and and um, somebody said this of Ben Riley. Well, he wouldn't be on board with this kind of thing. But I'm like, these are all alts. Yeah, exactly. These, these are these are alternate versions of the of those versions because that Ben Riley Spider Man mm. wouldn't be like this is an animated version. So yeah. he's a separate universe. And like Miles Morales isn't Miles Morales from. The comics. No, he's a different They're Miles com- Morales. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So this is I'm Not what I'm what I'm suggesting yeah. is like if if that is a concern to you and it seems to be for some people where this is a very loose cotton. No, nah, I don't this care. Is not, they yeah, can do whatever to Ben. Exactly. Riley. That's right. That's yeah. Fine. It's fine. Exactly. And the the real Ben because also if it were the real Ben Riley is different now. Yeah, he's not he's not the Scarlet Spider with no. the hoodie look anymore. He's he's become the he's become a Spider Man and then a different Spider Man. He has another identity now, mm-hmm. so he's not the canonical one from the comic books. He's a different one. Absolutely. Anyway, there you go. Also, Donald Glover is in this. My God. <laughs> yes. So I'm assuming that's a variation or the MCU. Prowler. He's a variation. See, there's, that's yeah. the thing. Because we saw like Donald Glover was introduced in the MCU as. Miles's uncle. Yes. Well, he, they don't say Miles's uncle, but he says, I have a nephew. Yeah. So the implication is that. <laughs> and there's only one nephew in the Marvel Universe, <laughs> that's and right. that is Miles Morales. The implication in, in that movie is that he that he's going to become the Prowler. And in this, if it's not this version, a version of uh, an MCU-esque yes. version, and Donald mm-hmm. Glover's just live action in this movie. And what I like about this as well, nobody acknowledges anybody else's, like, style. They're not like, that's a real guy. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. it's just all weird and whatever. Mm. You know, if a guy's, like, glitching next to you and made of newspaper, you're not like... Yes, exactly. It's fine. You just kind of... Yeah, yeah. They if, don't seem to see it the way that we see yeah, it. Yeah, if somebody's anime or somebody's Renaissance style or what yeah. have you. Yeah, there's... there's um. Well, because we, we get a, a, a bit of, like... Like we get also a reference to like to like the Tom Holland Spider Man, uh-huh. like that he references Doctor Strange and that multiverse event. Mm-hmm. As you mentioned, we got PlayStation Spider Man. We get the Venom averse, which also yeah. might be the Morbius averse. We get Mrs. Chen. Yes. J.K. Simmons pops up a couple of times as a voice cameos in yeah, different he's, universes. Uh, yeah, and you, you see him uh, as uh, as uh, jo- Jonah Jameson, I think, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And we uh, and we see, but in archival footage. But I I'd imagine these might be real in the next movies. Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. They might actually bring them in. Mm. I would say. Yeah. I would say that's a very real possibility. But I also liked the link between all of these being that uh, they they recognize that a Captain Stacy or a variation has to die for like yeah. the universe to kind of progress. Mm. So Miles's dad is going to become a captain. Yeah. So that's. Gonna, it's going to result in his death. Oh, that's what I was going to say because mm. the Spider Man twenty ninety nine in this universe isn't the one. He's not the comic book version. No, and he doesn't even. I don't think Spider Man twenty nine in the comic books even has a tragic backstory. 
He's just a guy with he's just a cool suit. More or less. I mean, but but his, he wasn't bitten by a radioactive no. spider, and I think this one was, so I think he's a different guy. Anyway. Some kind of vampire man well, situation. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting they just sort of pop that in. and Yeah. I, I wonder if it's because the Spider-Man 2099 has – he has venomous fangs. He has yeah. retractable fangs. Ah. So I'm wondering if they just call him vampire. He's not an actual vampire. He's a Morbius. He's maybe. <laughs> he might be a Morbius. He could be a Morbius. But the yeah. the um the the cameos are thick and fast. Sometimes you see like four on the in the yeah. one frame and they're going through the, a lot of people's favorites are in there, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there's, there's Mary Jane, but she has the Spider-Man powers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like seeing Mayday Parker. I like the baby. Yeah. My son liked the baby also. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. And the cat. Oh, yeah, and Peter Parked car, the, 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 <laughs> yeah, the a, spider buggy. Yeah. Who's a re- see that's a thing. real. <laughs> that's why it's all from non-canon. a from a Cars universe. Maybe it's I from assume. a Cars universe. Yeah. yeah, you see the one. You see the see that's the thing, and you also see the version of Spider Man where he's wearing the Fantastic Four suit, but he has a bag on his head. Yeah, so that's just Spider Man. Yeah, so like they're all they're all they're all alts. Absolutely. Do you think we'll see original comic book Spider Man in? Yeah, maybe in the. In the we, he might. He might even be in this. He might even be in this. Yeah, but I think that reveal to. Uh, to Miles Morales of like this tragic event is going to happen, yes, and you're not going to stop it. You, we're going to stay. You're going to stay here. Mm. And the way that they backstoried his powers that he can take down like a shield or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And seeing him like sprint out of the room and like a hundred fucking spider people. What does he just turn him. invisible? <laughs> yeah, well, he does sometimes. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. But maybe I, they can see him. I love that action sequence, and I think it also because. He's probably not supposed to be a Spider-Man. Yes. I know there's a lot of weird stuff, but a lot of them haven't seen this before. That's true. Including 2099. Yeah. Like, so he can do things that they can't anticipate mm. necessarily. I think that they worked that in really well to set him apart. And, yeah. like, he might not even be the best one. But also, like, nobody else really has the skin in the game that he – except for the 2099 version – no one has the skin in the game that he has. Yeah. You know, so he would be able to get out of that scenario because he's got there's for him there's more yeah. at stake. Apparently Jake Gyllenhaal's in this for a second as Mysterio. Really? The the uh, like well, a voice well, I'm I'd look, imagine? Uh it says footage. Huh. Through a peer as archive footage, because Dennis Leary is in this, and so is Oh, I think I saw that in maybe a web map or something. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, the, Dennis is, Leary is in this. The the original um Uncle Ben. Yeah. He's in this as well. Um Oh, what do you think's gonna happen to James Cromwell? Do you think he got murdered in the Tobey Maguire universe? Yeah. Because he's a Captain Stacy. Mm. Oh, no. The voice of Alfred Molina's in this as well. Yes. This keeps getting updated, the Wikipedia page. Does the people, Hello, Peter. people Are you doing it like right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it right, yeah. There you go. So at the end, it, he's in the wrong universe. Yes. And the Prowler in the universe that he ends up in, which was supposed to get a Spider-Man that did it, mm. that's him. Yes. So he's... And I thought that was a really good twist. Yeah, so that um, that his uncle isn't that. Well, his uncle in this universe is alive, and he's the prowler. Yeah. Do you think we're going to get some kind of Miles Miles team up Ooh. situation? Yes, because he could still be not necessarily a Spider Man, but a crime fighter. Yeah, maybe. You know, yeah, mm. you know, be like remember he your, seems to be doing a lot of crimes, but I think he's yeah. going to. I think he's so probably, did his uncle. Yeah, I think he's going to learn to be a better person. Yeah, I don't think they're going to kill him and like leave the universe. Right? <laughs> is my yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think it's going to be like a. Remember your father, et cetera, si- yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you what, though, like this has really kind of raised the bar for the next one. That's true. You know, like mm-hmm. it, like I don't. I think there's going to be a lot of people, no matter what happens, that are just like, nah, this di- that didn't <laughs> that didn't live up to yeah, what was right. up in the You're previous absolutely one. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I feel like if them taking five years, mm. they've probably figured it out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, do you want me to do some reviews from people? I would love to hear some reviews it's from the dreamer who says. Hey, Mr. Sunday Movies and Meso, just saw Across the Spider-Verse. Absolutely loved it. A visual treat. Maybe even an art attack? Full of heart too. Best movie ever. It's from the Nick Abides who says, has, uh, Spider-Man has a gorgeous visuals, well-written characters and relentless action. I loved it. A contender for movie of the year. Can't wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse. Mm. Nate Harris says, was hoping for a bit more than just a two-hour Easter egg hunt. Still best movie ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, PK Bailey says, Across the Spider-Verse left me with one thought in my head. Why is real life so boring, man? It's <laughs> devastating to finish a movie like this and go back to regular life. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes up against Mario this year as well. Yeah, right. Like two movies that like are doing well, I feel like for mm. like for similar reasons in terms of, I guess, cameos, but other yeah, yeah. than that, vastly different. Mm. Like Nintendo, oh, they're both like well-established properties, yeah. but they're such different That's true. animated mm. situations. Mm. Here's a couple of just some other... Miscellaneous casting notes. 
uh, Captain Stacy, the uh, one who's Gwen's father. Yeah. Uh, that's Shay Wiggum. So that's um, he is he is Chief uh, Wiggum. No, he is um, the F- the other FBI agent in the Fast franchise. Oh, yeah, he's of Brian's, course. He's Brian's partner. God, he's such a Captain Stacy dad. Yeah, guy. yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm loving that. Good also, casting. the guy who play, uh, Vulture, the Renaissance Vulture, that's Jorma from The Lonely Island. Really? So that's two Lonely, Lonely Island, Island guys. Where's the third where's one? The th- where's a Keeve? Where's a Keever? <laughs> where's that guy? I bet there's a bunch of that in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I think, yeah, as like over the, the week and weeks, we're going to find out. They're yeah. going to be finding all sorts of stuff in That's this right. movie. Probably, am I going to be? Am I going to be getting so many Screen Rant articles? That, oh like, my god! I can't believe you missed this thing or whatever. <laughs> well, we didn't. We saw everything. We're just <laughs> we're holding back. Anyways, wow. Yeah, movies are good again. Movies are good again for a minute. <laughs> What's next week? The Flash. Uh, Transformers. Oh yeah, movies are still probably going to be pretty good. I think. I think probably not as good as this movie. Not as good, probably, <laughs> but still pretty okay. Oh, that he is transforming into a truck now. That's cool. Great. That is cool. Like a gorilla transformed into a robot and yeah. then back again. Mm. That's great. That is great. Yeah. But the week after that is then The Flash, okay, Multiverse, right. which is apparently good. And Michael Shannon's like, I love him. Man. Oh, oh, yeah. Did you see that? Did you I watch did, that video? Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. Vanity Fair or something? Yeah, what yeah. Was it? And he was going through his career. Like, I love Zack Snyder. And everyone should shut up. <laughs> it's, and yeah. they really screwed him with Justice League and yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Also, I did this for two weeks. I recorded on The Flash for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, he did. In and out, but it was less than two weeks. Probably, yeah. yeah. Anyways, Mason, what's the time for? Uh, it's time for what we're reading. Yeah? Then we're going to read. Yeah? Yeah. You reckon? I do. 